Hey everyone, it's Glem3 and welcome back to Splatoon single player mode. Um, in the last part we defeated a boss and did a level in the second world kind of place. And I also just learned that I can just tap on levels to jump to them. But uh, we already have the, la the right one, so... Whoops, that's not right. Oh god. There we go. Number five. Sponge Garden. They also all have like little mini names. That one says Soak It Up. Blue I wonder if it's randomized, or if it's always the same. Alright. That there is a sponge. Whoa. Thank you for that. Is that all he had to say? That's a sponge. Goodbye. Oh, they have rapid fire. Alright. These get huge. Kinda makes me wish for like a really like fleshed out long single player mode, because I'm pretty sure this is short. Or like an online single player sort of thing. That makes no sense. An online uh an online like adventure mode. A single player online mode where you play by yourself but online. Enemy attacks causes sponges to shrink. Whoa, oh, crap. Thank you. Whoa. Do you see how far he flew? What's on that? That's just a fish. Alright, it's actually helpful to collect those egg things because I can get upgrades. Oh crap. No, don't drink! Oh, those were not- I thought they were like the rapid fire guys. Okay, keeping an eye out for sunken scrolls. Haven't seen any. Or I haven't seen the one that will be in this level. Wait, what? No, what? Oh, I'm dead. So for each level, I think you have three lives. Shown by the top left. So, that seems to work better, just getting rid of them like that. Isn't that better? Why would I just wait? Oh, well, that's actually a good reason. Yeah, confusing, even though you saw exactly where I went. I... No birdies! Oh wait, uh, it's a bazooka thing. God, their shots fly so slowly, it makes them harder to avoid. Somehow. <laughs> They're just like, whoa, what? They get so shocked, it's kinda sad. Ah, oh, what? I will name him Steve. The boy who lived, the squid who lived, the kid who lived. Even though he's an octopus. Alright. The background is just Spongebob. Can someone please do a little Photoshop with eyes on that? Oh, with the eyes from the, from the boss. Well, now he tells me about jumping. Okay. It doesn't number them on the pad, though. Oh, it does if I hold it. Okay, we just did five. So we want six. There are six. Propeller lift playground. Whispers on the wind. I'm getting such a codename Kids Next Door feeling from this, especially like with that landing. And I'm Agent 3. Someone's definitely made a codename Squid's Next Door thing, right? Pretty sure I've seen something like that. Let's get these things. Wait, we're collecting 
fish eggs. That's kind of weird. I mean, we're not fish, but we're, like, close. It's like if in Mario you collected, like, fetuses instead of coins. Which would be amazing, but... Whoa, I can go forever! Oh no, it stops there. Well, I guess in the Yoshi series you kind of collect babies. So that makes sense. Oh, they're so confused. They just get confused and watch each person get hit by ink and they're like, oh, I wonder where that came from. Oh well. Um, did I get a sunken scroll in the last level? I didn't even pay attention to that. Can I check that? I guess I can't right now. I don't think I did. I'll keep an eye out for one on this level anyway. We got like a bunch of cranes in this one. Oh crap. Oh wait, what? Not oh crap. There's the scroll! Awesome! Intentional, of course, that wasn't even an accident. Yeah, I think we did miss it in the last one. Oh god, why does it let me go this far? I guess I want to go up here. Alright, is this- oh yeah, water's like toxic to me for some reason, even though I am a squid. Oops, I didn't get him. Oh crap, I don't have- uh, what? There we go. Nothing up there. Is that fish? I think I saw it. Yep, there it is. That's also kind of like Galaxy, you can like see the glow of the thingy to collect. I think because in this mode you like swim so much in the ink, you barely ever run out of ammo because you don't need to spray everywhere. Oops. Oops. Okay. I almost fell. It's all good though. Zepfish! I got it as a squid this time. Alright, let me double check about that last scroll, because I don't want this to say something I wasn't supposed to know yet. I like reading them in order for some reason. I'm not looking. I didn't get the one in five. I'm gonna be right back and get the one in five. See you guys in a sec. I think I have an idea. This is a great so... Yep. Sorry, I was kind of far away from the mic when I said that. I forgot that I was lying down. My seating position for playing this is very uncomfortable. So I'm, I'm not like sitting against anything. All right. Um. So I think I have to beat this now, but I'll meet you guys back at the hub, and I think we have time for one more level. All right, back in the hub. Now. Oh, now we can read these. Whoa. The terrifying biology of the inkling. Strength can leap up to five feet. Brain, simple and predatory. Bones, none. Eyes, can spot prey from 100 yards away. Defense, high pressure, high capacity, ink sack. Gross. The Department of Energy has announced that further declines in the availability of electric power are likely to occur in the near future. With the underground domes also deteriorating rapidly, the future does not look bright. This is a depressing backstory so far. Um... See, I'm missing that saying, like, the inkling! And it's talking about how it has weird eyes and stuff, and it's, it's smelly, according to the bottom left, because scientific stink lines have been added. Um... Alright, so, I don't understand if, like, they lived together originally, the inklings and the squids, and what's that at the bottom right? It's like a weird drawing. Oh wait, whoa, wait, it's a flip book! 
What? It's a rotating zapfish. So if I just go like this, yeah, that's fine. All right. Time for one more. That was number five. Let's do. But we did number six. We need to do number seven now. Nope, that is. I did not mean. In order to see the number, you have to click on it. And if you accidentally let go while you're on it, then you go there. Okay. Spreader, Splatfest, Ink Stains, and Teardrops. What color will we get? Orange. Oh, I was right! Kind of. That's like pretty orange. It's not like the orange that goes against blue, but it's like orange. Oh, these are the spreaders. Also, they clean up my ink. Yep. Oh, but I can blow this thing up as many times as I want. I'm gonna have to start looking out for the... I think that's actually it right there. I was just talking about how these are getting harder to find, but I think that's actually the sunken scroll. Alright, I'll remember that for later. Because the last one was kind of hard to find. Am I... Oh, I'm at a... Weird carousel... That, not carousel. Uh, Ferris wheel... Thing. Theme park. Adventure in Octoland. Oops. Oh, can I just go up the spreader? Because that'll make things easier. Yeah, I can. Cool. Oh, I think that's what they're trying to teach me here. Or maybe they're just trying to have me do it before it comes, yeah. I really hope that you can actually read that weird fake language. And there's like weird teacup rides on themselves. So what's your favorite food, Bucko? Mine be Krabby Cakes. You're a fish. That's messed up. Oops, I didn't see that. Oh wait, so is this the place? I think this is the place where I saw the thing. I have to ride the spreader underground. Alright, let's do this. Scroll? Yep. Oh god. Ugh. Almost fell off. I love the little glow they leave. The shoes, they have like a little cool glow. Alright. Just ink this area. Alright. Huh. I don't know what the point of going back up would be. I love those things. The balloons, or like the popping things. There's stuff under. Oh, they're, it's carrying stuff around. All right, that's just for extra. Oh, I should upgrade my uh, gear after this. Power up. Inside here. Oh wait, I can't just. But I can just bump into that. It's not so bad down here. This is kind of better than the, the squid place. Oops. Oh god. All right. Rethink my strategy there. I didn't realize he had armor. Why did he drop down? Oh, those guys get distracted too. Oh crap. Alright. Oops. <laughs> Look at me. It's on the ground. Alright. There we go. Oh, there's a thing in the middle. I should just. Ah. Alright, that's it. Nice. I like these. They're not too long. It's like, uh. Kind of reminds me of like Mario 3 with like really short but fun levels. I'm just comparing everything to Mario. But, what do you expect? The ink spray during a turf war vanishes almost immediately after the battle ends. How environmentally friendly and incredibly convenient. Alright, so basically that one just gave me no more backstory, but just wanted to say how environmentally friendly the ink is. Cool. Um, alright, well, I'm, and also I'm guessing this is the amount of levels, so... We got quite a few more to go. In the next part, we'll go to level 8. 
I think that one has a... Uh, what does it say? Passing a checkpoint recovers a segment of your life thing. Oh, okay, cool. But yeah, I think in the next part we're gonna come across some... Um, octopus girl things. Octolings. So I'll see you guys there.